Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So sorry it's been so long, I haven't posted a video. Um, I'm finally getting adjusted to the influencer life. Um, it's only been a couple weeks, but like, I feel like it's been so long and I like wake up in the morning and I'm like, so what am I supposed to do today? Um, but by the grace of God, I haven't had like a full like, you know, I haven't had a slow day yet. Um, I've been on the move since I've um, since I quit my job and things have been amazing. Um, oh, my hair is kind of cute in this video. Eugenia Che hair, y'all. Get you some. It's kind of on fleek. And my makeup was done by Desiree today. I'll put her name down there, too. Um, I had two other shoots, and now I came back to film this video for you guys. Um, wanted to do the Q&A. I keep saying that I'm going to do a Q&A, and I haven't done it, so I wanted to actually sit down and do it for you guys. You guys have submitted so many questions, um, so I'm going to do like a part one, part two type of thing. Um, but before I even get started, if you're not subscribed, pause the video and please subscribe. I'm full time, so I'm trying to get these coins, so I need you guys to share, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff as much as possible so I can pay my bills. And so that, you know, I know what you guys want to see and stuff. Um, but yeah, engage. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe on here, please. Um, but without further ado, let me get right into these questions. Um, they're in no type of order. I kind of just went through my comments on the post that I posted on Instagram, um, and also went in the, my DMs because you guys sent a lot just via DM. Um, so I'm going to get right started to them. The first question was, what do I do for a living? If you guys, if you haven't been following me, how do you not know that? Or if you have been following me, how do you not know that? So, um, I went to school at Syracuse. My degree is in information management technology. Worked at DXC Technology, HPE, for three years. And just two weeks ago, maybe three, two weeks ago, um, I quit to be a full-time blogger and influencer. Um, super long story behind that, but go look at my post on Instagram. It'll be right here. A look at my post on Instagram um, to see you know how that all happened um, but God has been amazing this is what I wanted to do full-time um, and I want to provide you guys with a ton of more content um, so now I am a full-time blogger um, and influencer um, the next question is what church do I go to um, I go to the Potter's House North Dallas um, in Frisco Texas so I live more north um, of Dallas and I go to the Potter's House North so yes it's connected to the main campus um, Bishop Jakes but Pastor Show Brady is my pastor at the Potter's House uh, North um, I've been there I guess almost three years as well um, since I came here since I came to, to Dallas next question is how old am I I am 25 years old I keep saying 24 I turned 25 January 15th um, and I haven't really gotten adjusted to the new age yet, so I still tell people I'm 24. Um, what goals have I not reached yet? Um, a lot. Uh, now I'm gonna give myself some credit. I've done a lot of the things that I wanted to do, um, but my mind is all the way far. So there are so many things um, that I wanna accomplish. Uh, like one, being debt free to um and i'm answering these on the spot guys so don't expect any like extravagant like answers um one being debt free two owning a home three being married and yes that's a goal judge your mom um four of course having a family um my business is growing my brand growing doing more speaking engagements and um, eventually having a nonprofit, uh, mentoring young girls to follow their dreams and things like that. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't reached yet. Uh, so yeah. Um, my next question is, what are some of my greatest accomplishments? Um, <sighs> so one, overcoming the fear of the camera. Um, that, that's been here a long time. Guys, side note, let's just pause. I got my eyebrows microbladed and there's absolutely nothing on my brows right now and they're kind of fleeking. Okay, back to the questions. Um, what did I just say? Oh, some of my greatest accomplishments. So one would be taking on the corporate job that I did. Um, 
and excelling in it. Um, I never knew that I wanted to do that or that I wanted to be in the field or anything like that. Um, that was huge for me. Even getting my degree in IT was a huge accomplishment for me because it was very hard. Um, moving to Dallas without any family and friends um, was a huge accomplishment for me and a big thing for me being that I've uh, used to be pretty shy and just timid about everything. So that was a huge accomplishment for me. Um, next question, what are my hobbies? So I am one of those people who like are obsessed with and obsessed with like being in the house. So like this couch right here is like my home. So if I'm not working and you're not asking me to like chill, then this is where I'm at. Um, I love cooking. It's kind of like relaxes me. I love cooking. Um, I love Netflixing. So I just I've watched pretty much every single show on Netflix and I always ask you guys to give me like new shows and stuff on my Instagram um, to watch. But I pretty much watched everything. Um, what else do I like to do? Oh my gosh, I love to play Uno. Anybody who knows me or my friends, my closest friends, they like get annoyed when I even bring it up because every single event that we have, I am like, oh my gosh, can somebody play Uno with me? Like, does anybody want to play? And they'll be like, Jaleesa, no. Um, but yeah, playing Uno. Um, I like bowling. I don't really go as often, but I do like bowling. Um, but yeah, I just really pretty much like to chill. Like, be in the house and just kick it with myself or with friends. I mean, I don't know if they if they feel like chilling then with them, but if not, I am perfectly okay by myself. Um, which I kind of grew into uh, being that, you know, kind of on my own here. Um, so those are my hobbies. Um, the next one is what made me um, start a blog. So. It kind of just happened. I mean, as my following grew on social media, um, as my following grew on social media, I just found myself individually answering a bunch of questions for people, um, whether it was advice or on something that I've done or anything like that. I just found myself um, answering everything one off. So I figured if I were to start a blog, it would be a place for me to publicly answer the frequently asked questions that I get um, in my Instagram DMs and just with people pulling me to the side and things like that. Um, and just because I have a brand and I did a bunch of different things, but I needed a way to consolidate everything. Um, so I came up with the, it was really just a website and like an online diary type of thing. Um, and it grew into the fashion and all that kind of stuff. I still don't really post as many blog posts, but I'm going to try to do a little bit more. Um, I'm not really that much of a writer, but I'm going to try to do a little bit more, um, just to get more out there for you guys. Um, and to bring in the bigger brand deals because they like written posts and they like reviews and things like that. So yeah, that's kind of how I got started. Um, ooh, this one's a good one. What does a guy do to separate himself from the other men to get my attention um, and let me know that he is for real? Yeah, that's a hard one. Um, for me, and this is just my personal opinion, for me, um, it's all about a guy's demeanor. You know, the way he carries himself and the confidence he has. There's a borderline, thin line between confident and cocky. Um, but I like them to be right on that line um, because a lot of guys are intimidated and, and that's kind of a turn off. I like a guy that's like, yeah, like, what's up? Like, you, you know, whatever. Like, just be confident when you come to me. Don't, like, be all scary looking and, you know, coming to get my number or, you know, whatever. Um, but it's all about a guy's demeanor and the confidence and who he is and what he does um, and how he owns it. And also just a guy that has a genuine, and this is probably should have been first, a guy with a genuine relationship with God. Not just, because I've had a lot of guys come and like throw out scriptures and like try to pretend to be all, you know, spiritual and they're really not like that. Um, and it's clear. And any real woman that has a real relationship with God can see it. So don't try to fake it, y'all. Men, don't try to fake it. Um, but yeah, just the demeanor and, and being confident in who they are, what they want. Um, and you know, that's what'll really get my attention. At least I don't know what other women like, but that's just what'll get my attention. Um, what inspires me or what is my inspiration? Um, that's a hard question. 
I mean, I draw inspiration from all different types of things. Um, of course, you know, continuing my family's legacy. So um, in Pittsburgh, my family or my grandparents uh, are the pastors of a church. Um, and my mom, my grandmother, and a lot of the women in my family have done, you know, big things and they're strong women. Um, so they're definitely an inspiration to me. Of course, just being who God wants me to be is what gets me motivated and, you know, going every day. Um, and then there's different people that I follow on Instagram and things like that that really just make me feel like you need to do more and be more and be better. And yeah, you did that. That's cute, but that's still not enough. Um, so it's a bunch of different things that inspire me, but definitely um, becoming all of who God wants me to be um, and uh, following, you know, my family's legacy and also creating a legacy for my kids to come um, where it's not just like I was just a human here on this planet, but like. My mom did some dope stuff, and that's what I want my kids to be able to say. Like, my mom really was dope. Um, so, yeah. Next question is, what advice can I give to someone starting a blog or being an influencer or a YouTuber? Um, I kind of talked about this in one of my other videos, but the main thing would be um, to own who you are. We're all different. We all have our weird, quirky ways about ourselves or the things that, you know, other people may not like or, you know, may say that we're odd or we'll never make it because of this or, you know, you just don't have that it factor or whatever. Um, but own who you are. The more you own it, the more people, you know, will get with you because it's like, it doesn't matter, you know, who gets with her. She's still on her stuff and she still believes in herself. Um, and that's what really will grow your following and draw people to you the way that you believe in your own self um, So I would say own who you are what you want to do if it's starting a blog on Painting walls or knitting or anything weird. Just do it and own it like we all Like different stuff and you're gonna draw somebody's attention and somebody in so-and-so state is going to be like, oh, I love painting walls too, or I love knitting too, I can't wait, you know what I mean? So just whatever it is and whatever you love to do, um, own it and start to see yourself the way God sees you. Like, stop, we have to stop being so hard on ourselves and, you know, thinking that we're less than or not good enough or whatever. Like, to all of us, God sees us like we are a freaking star on this planet, you know what I mean? Like, you have to start seeing yourself like that and then it'll you'll stop your stuff will be able to grow because if you're not confident in it no one else is going to care and they're going to see that you're like not really committed and you don't really like feel that you're just doing it to do it so own who you are what you do what you say um put god first of course in everything you do um because i mean if you don't do that then it's nothing's gonna, nothing you do is going to pop um but yeah, I would just say own it and just do it. Stop stop like thinking about it over and over again and asking too many people's opinions. Um, just do it. Just do it. Literally, just do it. Um, people are going to always have something to say. Um, and people are going to have their opinions. And of course, there are going to be people who are going to help you, um, you know, grow and, and learn new things. Um, but you're not going to ever learn or know what to do until you actually just do it. Learn from your mistakes. Um, when I was at my job, they used to always say, just do it if you fail and fail fast. Because the longer you like to be timid and all that kind of stuff, like it'll just draw out your process longer and longer. Do it if it works, replicate it if it doesn't, figure out a new way. That's it. Um, next question is it's the same thing. How did I start the hair company? I kind of talked about it in another video. Um, I needed some money in college for, you know, uh, extra stuff. Um, and I didn't want to have to keep asking my parents for money every weekend. My friend, oh, pause. I have an ebook on this. The link down below. Get the ebook. It talks about how I started a hair company and how you guys could start your own. Um, a whole bunch of tips and all the stuff that I went through. Um, I kind of let you guys in on all the secrets so you don't have to do the same thing. Um, so purchase the ebook. It's only $49.99. Um, and it gives you all the tips and tricks to start your own company. Um, but yeah, so long story short, my friend uh, went overseas, had a vendor, gave me a bunch of different vendors, and I figured out which one I liked and went with it, and I started a company. See? This is the hair. You guys can do the same. Get your coins. Um, 
how long did it take for me to reach the level of success that I'm at now? And what do I wish I would have done or not done? Um, I mean, I don't know how long, I'm 25 years old, so I'm still figuring things out. Um, so I wouldn't really consider myself successful. I mean, I have completed some things, um, but I don't really think I'm there yet. Um, but there are a lot of things that I wish I would have done or would have not done. Um, one, specifically what I said before is consider what everyone else thought of me. I used to be very shy and timid and kind of just questioning everything I did, you know, like what would people think or, you know, I've done this so I don't need to do a blog because I don't want people to judge me or think that I think I'm perfect or whatever. Um, so it was just all different types of fear, but fear was it. Um, so uh, I just wish I would have dropped that sooner and started seeing myself the way God sees me, which is, you know, the way that he continually graces us and gives us mercy on even, you know, even when we fail and things like that. Um, but not harping on that is, wish I would, is what I wish I wouldn't have done. Um, and because that's what kind of kept me from doing it for so long. I could have been a lot further in my opinion. Of course, everything is in God's time and he knew that it, this was going to happen. Um, and in the timing that it was going to happen. But I feel like um, if I would have dropped the fear um, and the guilt of, you know, who I was and where my shortcomings were and, you know, I've sinned and I've done this. So God, you know, doesn't want me to start a blog to try to minister to anybody because I'm not perfect. Well, in reality, no one's perfect. Nobody, none of the preachers you listen to, none of the pastors anywhere, no one is perfect. And he graces us all the same. Um, of course, he wants us to do better and try again each day. But um, I, I let that weigh down on me so long, um, and I feel like I could have started a lot sooner and helped a lot more people, um, if I wouldn't have let the enemy guilt me with, you know, my past mistakes and things like that, um, or just with me not being perfect and saying, you know, I still struggle in this area, so let me not try to preach to anybody else on this area. Um, but yeah, I wish I would have let that go a lot sooner, um, and realized that God, you know, he doesn't hold us hostage to what we've done. Um, all he asks is that we repent and try again the next day. So that's something that I wish I would I would have done. Um, what else do I wish I would have done or not done? That's really it because that was really what helped me from everything. Um, any type of business or brand or anything or, you know, speaking into others' lives and things like that. There were a lot of things that I didn't do because of fear. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what drives me daily, and they put in quotes, not spiritual. <laughs> um, just wanting to accomplish everything that I want to accomplish. That's what gets me up in the morning. Um, I want to be bigger. I want to have a bigger brand. I want to be a bigger light to the community. Um, I want to grow. I want to have a bigger following, bigger brands to work with. Um, so that's what drives me, like not being where I see and even following, I mean, I know a lot of people say that, you know, you shouldn't follow people on Instagram and compare yourself, blah, blah, blah. Of course not. Don't compare yourself. But at the same time, if it, if you follow a lot of people that make you want to level up, like I follow certain people and I'm like, sheesh, Jaleesa, like your content is not that good. Like you've got to do better. you got to try again. So there are a lot of people that I follow that push me and drive me to do more and be better. Um, from a natural aspect and of course also from a spiritual so sorry I'm gonna always be spiritual um, but but also from a spiritual aspect uh, so yeah that's what kind of gets me up going in the morning and also making a name for myself and my family like I want to be able to leave my kids with a legacy um, so that's what drives me okay I had to go back to my uh, to my Instagram to make sure I didn't miss any any of the other questions um, Oh, this is a deep one. When is the last time you've been on a date and how you, how do you discern if a guy is pursuing intentional dating and if he's right for you and not just out for the physical? Hmm. So as I've gotten older, I've realized that men, if a man wants you, he's going to show it, ladies. He's going to show it and he's going to make it very clear to you. Um... I don't remember my last date, to be honest. Um, still thinking. 
I don't know. Last date, I don't know. But I know that with a lot of the guys that I've dated, um, when they're trying to be serious, they say it. Like, I know it's too soon or I know it's early, but I'm just letting you know this is what my intention is for you. Um, and I've learned that growing older. So if he doesn't say it, then I mean, in enough time for you, then you can ask. And then based off his answer, you know whether to exit or to keep it going. Um, <laughs> oh, this is a lot of questions, y'all. Okay, so I'll do a part two. So I'm going to do the rest of the questions in a part two. Um, stay tuned for the part two. This video is kind of long. Sorry, but just please watch to the end and share and all that. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Um, make sure to subscribe and follow me on all of the socials. This is where my check comes from now. I need all the support. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to do a part two. So if I post this before, I need you guys to submit other questions. And if, even if I do post a part two already, still leave questions below because I'm going to keep periodically doing these. Um, just so you guys can, you know, feel free to, to engage and, you know, ask any questions you want. So if there are anything else that you guys want to pop up or even follow ups to these questions, put them down below. Peace. <laughs>